Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on integrating Ruff within our Django applications. Now you're probably wondering what is Ruff. Now Ruff is a very fast Python linter and code formatter that is coincidentally written in Rust that we can use within our Django applications. Now as a comparison to all of the other Python linters and code formatters out there we can see that Ruff is extremely quick in its linting capabilities, unlike Flake 8 and, of course, many alternatives that are out there. Now, there are additional advantages that you can see here as well. I will be sure to attach this link in the description of this video as well for you. It also has built-in caching and it's also regularly updated. So, as you can see, it has Python 3.13 compatibility. Now, Something that I really like about Ruff is it's very clear in telling you what the issues are in your code and how you can fix them as well. That's one of the best parts that I find super helpful in Ruff, especially if you want to clean up your code and make it more concise and whatnot. But anyway, we're going to learn how to integrate it. It's very simple and easy to use. So you want to first of all, make sure that you have a project you want to apply this to. So I have one open here and ready to go. And then you want to install Ruff within your application. So here I have my virtual environment active. There we go. And the command is going to be very simple. So all that you want to do is make sure you're within your project and you can say Ruff check. And there we go. You can see here it says found four errors. And let's go on ahead and take a look. So as you can see here, it's going to, first of all, give you a notice here at the top here of the issue that you are um, encountering. So it's going to designate that by specific numbers here. And it's then it's going to give a description. So for example, in my models.py file, the redefinition of unused models from line one. So as you can see here, it's then pointing directly where the error is that needs to be fixed, okay? And it also provides like this help sort of um, option here that says remove definition model. So it does give you some clarity as well with what you need to do. So remove unused import, removed unused import here. And of course, as we can see, it also has certain detections in place to say if an import should be at the top of the file or if there's anything like that that needs to be set up into place. As you can see, it's very friendly in giving you a very easy and readable format to how you can solve the issue, what the issue is and where the issue is. So as you can see, on the left hand side, Ruff is smart enough to figure out where the issue exists. So here, my project is called Elevate and in my settings.py file, it's detecting said error. Of course, the other one is in my chess.py file and in my models.py file and models.py file. Okay, so that is where you can actually go ahead and see the issue at hand. Now, sometimes it's going to have an error in one. So as you can see here, both of these messages pertain to the imported but unused models. Okay, so the first error is about redefinition. And the second one is about importing and unused. So that is just how you can just keep that in mind with your project. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So redefinition of unused models. Okay, so I'm going to go to my Django app CRM, go to my models.py file, and here I can see it's unused. So I'll just go ahead and comment that out. There we go. All right, and let's go back. And I can just run my run rough check. And there we go. We now have three errors. Okay. Now, what rough also does is, for example, if you have a model module in place here or model that you are importing, but you're not actually working with, it's also going to show an error. So if, for example, I had a few models here, my models.py file, Okay, if I had some, it wouldn't show up that show that error. So for example, let's go ahead and create a simple model here. All right, so if I just say class person models dot model first name 
Okay, set the char field, max links. Setting. Okay, just that. And let me run rough check again. Now that error is gone because the reason is I'm now utilizing Django models now. Okay, so that is what I'm trying to get out here. So anything you that you don't use, it helps you to look at what's not used and then to just help you integrate it carefully. All right. So it's very helpful here to clean up your code as well. And a lot of this is done and speed it up by utilizing the rough cache, which is automatically automatically created within your project when you run rough check. Okay, so we also have test case here. So this is an import that's not used. So it's in CRM. If I go to tests, I can just comment that out. Okay, that's good. That's a rough check, one error to go. Now this one, is stating the module level import not at the top of the file. So here I have from pass lib import pass, and I haven't added it to the top of my file in my settings.py file. So it also helps you with restructuring in terms of the best practices. So this is telling me in my settings.py file, I need to move this here, or I actually have two, and that's what's causing the conflict. So I just need want to go ahead and remove that. And then this error is going to go away. So if I say rough check, all checks passed. Okay, so that is exactly the result that you want to get at the end after checking your application and just cleaning it up. So it's a very helpful tool. As you can see, it's very fast, lightweight, and I'll definitely recommend that you use this for your Django projects just to clean up your code, make it a lot tidier and such. Very helpful for compliance and auditing and um, the like, and just clean code as a result. All right, guys, so that's it for this video tutorial. That is how you can utilize Rough, which is a Python linter and formatter. All right, guys, so that's it. Thank you for the support as always, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.